you're watching Millennium Pacha, your first and only business breakfast show with Poland Constance. Now, on this particular segment, we get back again with our resident coach, life coach, uh, Dami Hart. And last week, we had very interesting discussions on the power of your daily practice. We continue on this particular segment, the power of choice. Welcome to Millennium Kwacha. My pleasure. I love being here and spending time with you and all our lovely viewers. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Great. <laughs> Let's move straight. Um, mm -hmm. Last time we talked about the power of daily practice, very, mm -hmm. very important subject, mm -hmm. developing your habits. You highlighted some of the benefits of having routines, mm -hmm. even when you're not working, even when you're not in school, mm -hmm. why it's important to uh, have routines mm -hmm. and have a life of purpose. Mm -hmm. That was very important for me. That was my takeaway for me was purpose. Mm -hmm. No matter what you're doing, have a purpose. purpose. Yes. What's the importance? Let, 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 let me just pick a, a quick recap. What's the importance of someone Having a okay. To yeah, I believe, and I'm sure many of you do too, with a soul-aligned purpose. And where we start to feel stress, anxiety, depression, is when we are not fulfilling that purpose. And everybody's pers purpose is personal, unique, unique, and equally important. It doesn't matter what you do in life. As long, and you will know by doing it that it brings you joy and fulfillment and it impacts on the lives of those around you. Mm. Every purpose is unique. Yes. Equally important. Yes. Wow. Yes. yes. So there's not purpose that is more important than the other. No, no. You're someone who, you're a cleaner, right? Mm. Every purpose is important, unique, individual. Yeah. How do you discover Oh, that's a great question, yeah. Paul. I love that. Okay, so if I, if I, a client was was to come to me and say, Danny, you know, I feel, I feel useless. I feel a bit lost. I, I don't really know. I, I'm not really feeling joyful. I'm not really. What I do doesn't make me happy. I don't feel yeah. purposeful. Um. I would ask my client, what are the three things that you think most about? What are the three things that you spend your time most on? What are the three things that you spend your money on the most? And those are very practical ways to start to identify what's important to the person. Then we would start to do some deeper questioning. If you could wave a magic wand and you could do anything in the world, what would it be? And you can start to elicit some of the answers. Now, for some people, where they are now, to think about getting to their purpose feels impossible. It feels like it could never happen. However, if you don't know what it is, you'll never get there. But having a clear idea of what it is, you can then start to take the steps. And we're jumping ahead to the last of these, the series to inspire action. Step by step will take you to that place um, where you are actually doing your purpose. And once you get there, you may find that you, you find you have a new purpose. So you right? have a new purpose. Yes, of course, because everything in life is flowing. You enter this child as a newborn baby and you grow into adulthood and then into your senior years and you, you end. We, we never, in, in one single moment, we are never the same. Life is always changing and evolving. And if you think you are here to live the exact same life from one year to the next, that is when you will start to feel stress and anxiety because you're not open to change, you're not in flow. I mean, your life today to what it was a year ago is different, yeah. Yeah. right? The Paul you are yeah. today is different to the Paul you were a year ago. Can you have three purposes, four purposes, like yeah. you're wired for different things? Yes, of course you can. I mean, we know, of for example, you can. We know Tiger Woods for golf. Mm -hmm. We know LeBron James for basketball. Mm -hmm. But can we also know him for something else? Something. I don't know if my question is clear. Yes, it is. It is. Um, 
I mean, of course you can. I, so we're looking at some big names. I mean, look at even Rich, Richard Branson. I mean, he's a multi-million dollar entrepreneur. He has an airline uh, company. He has a Virgin Records. I mean, many, many different branches, right? The thing is, it's in any one moment in time, it's important to be focused. So yes, you will have your purpose and you'll focus on that one thing in the moment. And then maybe you'll want to branch out to, to this line or to this area. And please remember, we are all mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, uh, we're friends. You know, we have many different gifts that we bring to people, as well as for me being a coach. There's many other areas that I work in, in business, in my family business, in finance. So we, we, of course, we have many different hats that we can put on. But the key is you don't want to get overwhelmed with lots of different hats. It's possible to have those hats. It's possible. Possible, of course, it's more than possible. However, it's important in the moment to focus on one hat. And then you can, once you've kind of got that sorted, you can then add on another hat. That's what I feel. What if, um, can you keep changing depending on which one brings more revenue for you? For example, if I'm an author mm -hmm. and I see that it's not giving me money, mm -hmm. but I can do broadcasting and jump to broadcasting mm -hmm. because it's uh, giving me money. Can you keep jumping yeah. like that? So do you recommend yes. that? Yes, go with the flow. Go with what is working for you. Go with what feels good. That's part of living of being in the flow of life, of being open to change, being open to opportunity. You know, if one one um, avenue of, we're talking about work now, we're talking about, you know, business, uh, income, you know, if that avenue isn't working out for you and then another one seems to be abundant and fruitful, then yes, go for it, why not? Why, you, basically, if you don't, you're saying no, no to blessings, you're saying no to, to actually attracting what it is you desire. And, and, and many people say no because they're afraid of change. They, you know, they, they fear letting go. You know, you, you gave the example of being an author and then broadcasting is looking more lucrative, but you're like, you're very attached to that. No, I'm an author. You know, this is who I am. This is my identity. Even though I'm sitting here with no money, I'm an author, right? Yeah, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but actually, okay, well, I, I, I have been a successful author. I've done that and that felt good. Um, and now I'm being called to now go into broadcasting. This is where I'm being guided to go and take that inspired action. Lovely. I think. <laughs> uh, last time we were just talking about the power of spontaneity, mm. you know, not just being rigid. Yeah. We had a particular topic for today's edition, but we divested I know. and talked about <laughs> <laughs> purpose yes. and it's a very very important subject yes exactly exactly the virus. Yes. this is where we end today's topic uh, on purpose mm. we'll be back to talk about the power of choice, choice. in the next edition Beautiful. which is something I'm looking forward to me too great. thank you so much for having us <laughs> pleasure pleasure darling awesome this is where we end today's edition of this particular segment I'll be back again with Danny Hatch uh, talking about the power of Choice, my name is Porsche Nongo, you're watching Millennium TV, back to the studios.